While agriculture groups are expressing concern over a federal judge's decision to strike down the 2020 Navigable Waters Rule, an Arizona judge recently vacated the Trump era rule, adding further uncertainty and confusion for farmers and ranchers. While Arizona Farm Bureau President Stephanie Smallhouse joins us now with further perspective on the situation. And Stephanie, as always, thanks for your time this morning. Now, before we address your concerns, can you first give us a little bit of background on the rulemaking for the waters of the U.S.? Well, good morning, Janet. Yeah, a little background. The Clean Water Act requires that anyone discharging material into a navigable waterway of the U.S., like dredge, fill, or wastewater, from a specific point source, they have to obtain a permit from the Army Corps of Engineers. So over the years, there's been inconsistent permitting and enforcement of the act, and it made it evident that a rulemaking was necessary to pretty much clear up all this confusion. So the, both the Obama and Trump administrations actually created rules to define which waterways or waters of the U.S. are what we like to call WOTUS, and this is how the boundaries of the federal government's authority to regulate navigable waterways is actually determined. So what's the difference between WOTUS and the navigable waters rule? And why, of course, is the Arizona decision such a concern? Well, multiple federal courts actually ruled that the 2015 rule overstepped the scope and intent of the Clean Water Act. And it violated the Administrative Procedures Act, which basically means they didn't follow the rulemaking process correctly. The rule was just a mess. So it eliminated the line between where water ended and land began. It, re it regulated all land where water might collect at any time during the year, regardless of navigability or commerce, and, and it was just extremely confusing. So clean water obviously is of utmost importance for, for farmers to their crops, their livestock, and our families, but we shouldn't have to hire an attorney to determine planting decisions. So contrary to the hyperbole leading up to the Arizona courts vacating the 2020 rule, the Trump rule is actually quite similar to the 15 Obama rule in that both rules protect the territorial seas, navigable rivers and lakes, tributaries, ditches, lakes, ponds, and wetlands. Really, the only difference between the two rules are that the 15 rule was extremely broad in scope, and it required a permit for any waterway with a bed bank or high water mark, regardless of whether it only collected water during high rain events. It covered all ditches, all lakes and ponds, regardless of a surface water connection, and pretty much all wetlands. Versus the 20 rule under the Trump administration clearly covered all of these waterways, but in a much narrower fashion. So it only excluded dry washes, some, dish some ditches, lakes and ponds with no surface water connection, and wetlands separated from regulated waters. And that's because those are better left to the states. So by vacating the Trump rule, we're essentially thrown back into the 1980s enforcement until the Biden administration then creates another rule. All of this uncertainty obviously makes life difficult for everyone and it doesn't protect waters of the U.S., so we're back at square one. Now, before we wrap up, Stephanie, can you also give us a quick update on the current conditions that you're seeing across your region? Yeah, uh, Arizona has fared well with the monsoon season. September is the last official month of the monsoon, and southern Arizona has had its wettest monsoon since, like, 1964, so that's awesome. Northern Arizona, we're still seeing some pockets where extreme drought is still there. Um, but really, we've gone from a D4 exceptional drought, which covered 75% of the state in January, only 1% now. So this is a short-term uh, relief and the drought, of course, in the long term, we'll need more snow within Arizona and also in the Rockies. But we're sure happy about this summer monsoon season. All right, Stephanie, thanks for your insight this morning. Arizona Farm Bureau President Stephanie Smallhouse on the phone with us today. You can go online to az .f, or rather azfb.org for additional information on the state membership.